Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we are going to be progressing through Zord attacks, and we're going to try <laughs> to complete it so we can get to Ancient Odyssey. Now, I know I've been gone for a while, but I promise you guys, I wasn't just doing nothing. Um, I've been going through some stuff uh, in personal life, and I finally was able to get through it all and fix everything. It's still a little slow, but everything should be back on track within the next month or two. Um, but I did actually get a bit gore, and I was shard stacking, so I was able to max everything out. Um, so what I did is I shard stacked up to like 100... 150 and I would use my gems to buy shard baskets every week and then I would pretty much just wait for my bit gore and then when I got my bit gore I would do a major push on a Saturday or Sunday or a Tuesday bonus and then I would use my guild honor I still might have some actually I have a lot and I would just buy nothing but zeal 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 sometimes I would do a uh, gauntlet Charles gauntlet but I would mainly do world boss so I can get uh, materials to make Drazik. And I'm actually pretty close. Um, I'm like halfway done with my Drazig, which is nice. Um, I have one plus one. So I'm actually able to make another plus or another Drazig right now, but then I would be getting rid of my Omos. This is just for fun. Don't pay attention to these pumps. But I'm really close to finishing Drazig. So I was really just focusing on my gear and Drazig, and I was getting a lot of sets. So I actually scrapped them and I rolled for, I believe this is a Titan set. Let me see. You see, I always farm Netherworld, always farm Netherworld until maybe T13 or 14, then I'll farm Titans. But that's because I'm trying to make Jurassic. Yeah, so it was from here, it was from Titans. I didn't really grind any Titans, I probably did a few, but I mainly did uh, Nether and I would just roll, and I was lucky enough to get one roll each of these three, because I really didn't want the neck so I can keep my tier 11 neck. So I was lucky enough to get these. And I don't even know where I got these frozen beads from. I was just grinding and I just randomly got them. That might actually be from Nether. Let me check. It was awesome. Yeah, from Nether. I literally grinded and I just I was just getting materials for Drazig and I ended up getting frozen beads. And if, as you can see here, it says plus 5% deflect while shielded, which is awesome because I have a heal and shield pet when hit. So that's amazing. I'm going to be shielded. A lot of the times, if you see my skill, my 1 SP is shield self, so I'll automatically buff myself by giving myself 5 de uh, deflect every time I pop that as well. So it's nice that I'm going to have a little bit of synergy with this build. Um, if you haven't seen my accessory, it is block chance and deflect chance. Every time I upgrade it, I believe it goes up 1 deflect or 0.5. Let's see. It goes up... Oh no, I believe it goes up block. Yes, it goes up block actually. Sorry about that. But anyways, um... Yeah, I mainly upgraded it because I want to like get it to plus three or plus four and then eventually scrap it so I can um, either hardcraft, I believe you can hardcraft with it, or roll twice for an accessory. And if you can see here, I'm very close to making a mythic accessory and I'm just in tier 12, which is great. And all I did was shard stack like crazy, just nothing but shard stack and monthly bit gores. Um, I was able to roll this random Tobert from the Tobert egg. I did one or two rolls, I don't remember. I think it was one. I was like, well, I have enough. Why not? I'll just roll it. What the heck? And then I got Tobert and I was like, holy crud. <laughs> Tobert is like, well, in back in the day before Mythic Pets came out, he was top two. He was top two or three. He was literally like really close to being the best. Sardines is the best, but I'm not sure what's in the shop right now. If it's eggs, I'll show you. It's not eggs, but sar there's no sardines egg. There's a Tobert egg, so that's why I rolled the Tobert egg, because Tobert's a really solid uh, pet. But anyways, let's get into this. Um, I have a plus one Drazig, or yeah, plus one Drazig. I'm not sure if I showed you all that. Let me just show you real quick, actually, before I continue on. Yeah, as you can see here, I have a plus one Drazig, and if I go to Fusions, I can actually make another one, but then I'd be getting rid of my Omos, and I'm not ready to do that. So what I'm going to do is... That's Three. I need to make one more Omo, and that'll make me three more of these once I get enough. So that'll be one, two, three. It'll be one plus four. So I'm probably going to try to make a few more Omos before I try to finish Drazig. I want to make it all at once. I don't want to just have like a partial Drazig. I might use them at plus three because they'll still be better than Omo, I believe. But until then, I'm just going to use Omo. So we're going to be going through tier 12 with Omo, hopefully. We're going to try to get through Zord attacks. We are on flag one. Clear the islands of all enemies. So I really didn't want to just go in full set so I can show y'all what you need to use. But the thing is, around this time, you should be already max legendaries on just about every slot except maybe your main hand. So right here, this is my tier 11 epic. 
Just pretend it's in my main hand. Really. And if honestly, if you had an epic main hand and you have everything else legendary, it'd probably be better for you so you can have different options. But right now I'm stuck with this main hand, unfortunately. So here we go. I'm really close to leveling up my mount, by the way. Very, very close. Uh, it needs 2,000, I believe. Yeah. So once I get that, I'll be preset, which is nice. Anyways, sorry. Keep drifting off. Let's go to the quest, the flag one. Clear the island of all enemies. Let's go ahead and check out the loot real quick. Um, Jiva schematic, no. Hunaku, no. We're only going to really want legendary enchants. Everything else is Garbo, minus the skeleton key, of course. We're going to be getting some rune fragments, a uh, revive potion, and 10k gold. I love the gold. So it's a three man. We're going to put me in back, and we are going to put Hilarious up front. Let's check him out real quick. Deflect, deflect, deflect. Nice. So he is at five, nine, 12. Let's just say 13. Plus 13. Okay, that's cool. 26. 26, 27 deflect. It's pretty nice. Go ahead and go. I believe I'm at like 30 something, which is awesome. Okay, so these guys look really, really cool. Let's check them out. Okay. So for the first guy, Jubal. He has water damage, which is whatever. I think I have water resistance, so I'm definitely fine. Uh, water damage to the closest enemy deals water damage to the closest enemy two times. That is a really cool animation. I like that one. So he has pretty high damage and a decent amount of speed. So he's a little dangerous for the up close and personal A's. And we have a closest enemy. That's funny. <laughs> he also has water resistance. So he seems like he's a tank. I don't know why he's in the back. Shield self. Yeah, he's a tank. That's weird. And uh, water damage to the furthest enemy. So we're gonna wanna take out the guys up front first. And he has pretty decent speed, so I'm gonna keep myself in the back just for safety, just for this guy. He looks so cool. I love the art on these guys. Jesus Christ! We have a lot of, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, total stats. So I'm just gonna keep pressing one here until we clear them up. Because if you see, once we clear them up, let me go ahead and throw a heal. Once we clear them up, they'll be doing a lot less damage, so Ilaris will be able to actually survive a lot easier. And he'll just rely on the brain procs from one of them to, or me, to heal him up. I might even put myself up front. It really depends. I'll try swapping right now to see how I'll do up front. But for right now, he seems to be getting a decent amount of health with me just spamming one. You could finish him faster, but you know how I am. I love having max SP all the time. Having max SP with shields and health, it's always a good thing to have, honestly. Like, it's nice. So I'm going to get this gold, we're going to progress on through. We have to defeat every enemy, remember that. So I keep putting the tank in the back, which is very strange. Um, let's actually take care of these two guys, closest two enemies. And then I'll use a power attack, the weakest. I'll save Omo. I will save Omo. I don't mind using SP on Hilarious and myself. But for Omo, I'd rather save it. Right now, I'm not using any SP because this guy literally does nothing to us. Nice. Okay. Let me show you guys how much total stats I have right now. I'm so sorry about that. My total stats is at 8,382. Which is why I'm just steamrolling these guys. Like, they literally do nothing to me right now. But as of for the order, you're going to want tank, uh, DPS or healer, and then bait and back. Or if you are a bait yourself, or you have Glarsdos, and you know they can take a hit, you can put the bait up front and the tank in the back, but your DPS or healer has to be in the center. Okay, let's go ahead and go on through this. Keep pressing zero SPs, zero SPs, zero SPs. All right. Honestly, you might even be able to get away with double Omo. But the only reason why I didn't do it is because I wasn't sure on what the enemy is um, looking like. And I still won't use double Omo just because I don't know what the third enemy looks like. It really depends if he attacks furthest like this guy does. Um, there's an SP shrine here, which means I'm going to just unload all my SP here on these guys. Destroy, just destroy them. Boom. Just waste all the SPs. All we got to do right now is waste it all. Oh, we can just get more SP. We can try to do heals and stuff. Is this self? That's self. 
And then I'll just do this so I give myself some shields. And I'll just do that. I'll give him some shields as well. All right, so we're going to come back to this SP shrine in a sec. Actually, we'll just do it now, that's fine. Fine, that's fine. Take this guy out. Look at that big footprint. All right, so this one's just so easy. I might just auto this. I'm gonna auto on through this and I'll see y'all at the end of the dungeon. Well, <laughs> it was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Pretty easy, though. Let's go ahead and collect. All right. Now we are on to flag two. Clear the beach of all enemies. Nice. So we're getting five epic materials. Epic materials have been a nightmare for me, so I am glad to see that. Okay. So looks like same loot. Jeevus? Yeah, it's the same loot. So again, you're just going to want the strange box, aka the enchant, and the key is going to be what you really want other than gold and gems, of course. So let's go ahead and enter. We're going to be clearing up all enemies. Let's try to be up front this time. I do have more deflect, but I do have dramatically less health. See, actually, I need to have less than Omo. So before anything, I forgot to change my health. I'm so sorry about that. Let me change my health state. 800. Okay, so what I can do is I could reforge this to damage. And then I could, I hate spending epic mats like this. Reforge this to health. What? See, I am super low on mats. This is bad. So let's see if there's anything else I can do. I don't want to do so little here, but I might have to. That sucks. I really need gold. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, I don't want to get one shot, so let me try to reforge this one, maybe? Yeah, it all takes a lot of gold, so I'm going to see if I can just do it with this much. That is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure you guys have found this out, but gold is a big problem. So we're not going to be able to put me up front. I'm going to have to be in the back, seeing as I am very, very weak right now until I get some more gold, but I should be able to do this. It should be fine. I'm not really worried. Let's see if there's any new familiars here. Okay, we do got one here. And he does strongest enemy, target teammate, and spread heal teammates. So I'm just gonna put me second here, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave Omo in the back. And I might even run double Omo next. It really depends. Let me put myself in front so I can see how much damage I take. Remember, these guys do a uh, closest enemy uh, and closest enemy two times. Uh, this guy is um, water resistance, water damage. He does strongest. He has a pretty cool animation. Uh, heals target teammates. So he's more of a healer than anything and spread heal teammates. So you'd want to get rid of him ASAP Arino. So I think the best option would be to put Omo in the middle just in case we get that other guy. So this is going to be my setup right now just so I can see how good I am up front. I am a very, very low stam bait, which is kind of scary because if you see here, he does a lot of damage and I can take all that damage I want and die. So let's go ahead and just try this. Might be a mistake, might not be. We're testing out my baiting here, see how strong I am. It seems like I'm doing pretty good because I do have block, which pretty much cuts their damage in half if I get that block proc. So seems pretty easy. I think it'd be best to get rid of the front guys still um, just because they're the ones that are going to be poking at me the most. But if you're having a problem with sustain, you're going to want to kill these guys because they're going to be keeping them alive. So this guy is called Bill Grayer. I'll just call him Grayer. Grayer is pretty much um, going to probably be your main target if they are staying alive and you can't kill them. You'll want to take out Grayer first. If he's going to be in the back, I recommend a spear for sure. Maybe a bow. I believe bow has attack for this as well. Um, but Grayer just seems like he's a healer. He does attack strongest, but I don't know if you saw it's 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 an okay amount of damage. It's pretty strong actually, but he's gonna be targeting out the strongest, so I'm not too worried. So here, since there's double healer, we could just nuke the front end, and then they'll just be healing themselves at the end. So I'm gonna hit random, hoping I hit him. I didn't. It's fine. Just to see what I can do here. Awesome. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy. I'm probably just gonna auto on through, and I'll see you at the end of the dungeon. All right, seems like we got a bunch of XPs and some gold, so let's go ahead and continue on through. All right, some epic mats, that's amazing. So we are going to be proceeding to flag three. Flag three is push through the wreck and defeat Dil Gr okay, Grayer. So he's going to be a bigger version of the healer, which means it's going to be a lot of sustain. 
I believe you're gonna have to take out the guys that he's healing before you take him out. I could be wrong. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try double Omo here. I'm gonna try it because I don't think there is attack for this right now. Unless they put that other guy in, but I really just don't think they will. So I'm gonna try double Omo with me up front and I will manual this. Okay, there's an SP shrine there, always a good sign. Okay, cool, I am dying, that's great. Not really, because this guy's here. We need to take him out before he takes out Omo. I can just sustain myself and then just use my random attacks. As long as I keep sustaining myself, that'll be fine. And remember, I have to stay shielded to get that extra five deflect. As long as I can do that, everything's gonna be fine. I have a decent amount of speed because of my, my mount. So I'm going to rely on that to be getting my SP and shielding myself quite a bit right now. I'm pretty good on shields. Okay, nice. So this is seeming pretty good. I'm gonna skip the shrine for whenever I see the mega version of Grare. Okay, so this guy's name is Haltrio and this guy's name is Jubal. Okay, so Haltrio is the only one that kind of scares me. So I'm gonna try to take him out. Wow, this is just destruction. I could probably auto this, but I really don't want to because I'm afraid I'll just get random nuked by Jubals. Yeah, the Jubals are the scary ones. Okay, great. I'm going to auto on through these. <laughs> hey, Bradley. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through this. Awesome. Okay, so this is honestly super super easy. I am just going to go through this like it's nothing I feel like I have plenty of TS. I feel like my synergy is working pretty well with the deflect and the block um, I will explain a way for y'all to do this if you are a DPS and what you would want to farm here in a second uh, I just want to get past this flag I'm gonna see how auto treats this Auto seems to be treating it fairly well. My deflect is proccing quite a lot. I don't know if you see it popping up over my face, but oh my. So this is Dil Greer. I accident I accidentally thought it was gonna be the other guy. So he might nuke out the back line. That is not good. Okay. Oh, it's just him. I am not too worried. What's his attacks again? Closest enemy, and he needs to have two SP for the furthest, so I'm not too scared. We should destroy him before that happens. Oh yeah, he's He's done for, he's a goner. I'm pretty sure I could have taken off one piece and I would still be fine. That's great, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue because there might be gems lying around. XP is always good as well and so is gold. So it's never too bad to actually continue on through the dungeons. I accidentally, I actually uh, recommend you do that because once um, I accidentally clicked down and I saw there was a bag of gems there and I was like, wow, I actually needed those gems so I could roll the pet egg. And I wasn't able to roll the pet egg until I got some more gems that day, which was unfortunate because I was just grinding just for those those um, gems, but it's whatever. Anyways, we got some elemental fragments, pretty useless, but we did get mount guts and I'm going to see if that will give us the ability to upgrade our mount now. If it does, we are going to have even more TS. Let's go ahead and check it out. Darn, we're so close. I'm pretty sure we probably need under like 30 mats to upgrade this mount. We're super close. Super close. Okay, so real quick, you can see here that I'm a bait. You could also make yourself a tank if you want to go for a tank roll, but that's only if you have baits with you to take attack weakest. But so far, there's no weakest, so you can make yourself a tank. It's fine. They just have furthest and they have... um. And they have weak or they have strongest furthest and closest so far so for the first three flags you really don't have to worry about weakest so i could have uh, essentially made myself a tank with more stats and just stood up front for the first three flags and had two almost it would have been fine uh the furthest didn't really get a proc that much so that's fine now if you are a dps player if you are a dps player you're gonna want to have of course a dps mount if possible and a dps um accessory for the um, the pet, it could be either um, a defensive or an offensive pet. Both work really well with um, with DPS players. Uh, offensive was is honestly really or um, defensive is honestly really good for I would say flags and stuff like that for sustain um, until like maybe like in the later game or mid game. I guess we are in mid game. 
offensive pants aren't really too too great if you don't have a good defensive brain on your other familiars because then uh, you're just gonna have to rely on killing them before they kill you and if you can't do that then you're gonna have no sustain you're gonna have a really big a problem on your hands but if you're going to be offensive of course offensive accessory offensive uh, mount and you'd probably want to lean towards an offensive set or just all legendaries it's fine you can get away with all legendaries as an offensive very easily um only because you're only relying on empower and dual strike pretty much crit chance crit damage it's all you really want to worry about is those three or four things um here for runes you would want just all empower or dual strike dual strike works really well with pets empower works really well if you're going for a high power build of course or even high speed it'll keep it a little balanced uh you want to make sure you get a decent um offensive kind of um rune nothing defensive this one's pretty good uh this one pretty much this one pretty much works good for whichever because if you're low health you will get healed pretty good you're gonna want to get more offensive stuff here as well and same thing for enchants, just go for offensive. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have Eulerius as your tank because I believe he's the easiest tank to get. So Eulerius is your tank and you're going to put either all deflect on him or all damage reduction. And for your bait, if you can, and you're a DPS that is, you can get either a tank here for Melvins, which would be Macho Mad Dog Melly Man, uh, I believe Melvu. Geo, yeah and geo so those would be tanks but i don't really recommend farming this anymore seeing as all of those familiars are kind of out of date um extermination still houses uh one of the top three top four baits in the game which would be glarsdos here if you get glarsdos make him have him as your bait especially if you're a dps make him and use him as your bait if you get this schematic That would be your layout. It would be tank up front, which would be hilarious. You in the middle, DPS, and Glars in the back, or Roy in the back. Or if you have a very strong Glars and or Roy, you can put him up front and Hilarious in back, seeing as Hilarious is still a little weaker of a tank than most tanks. He's just easier to obtain. So that's pretty much my explanation for DPS. But I do recommend you just get all legendaries except for your main hand in this area. You can try two epics. But the rest would have to be legendaries, I believe. Here we're getting 100 gems, which is great. And we're getting a stat point, which is also great. Go ahead and check this out. It seems like the same stuff. Strange box is what we want, along with the key. We have mud as well, which would be nice. Let's go ahead and enter. We can use our carries here. So I'm just going to use my carries here. I'm going to see what other carries I have, actually. We have Bubba Shrump here, but I'm curious on who else we have. Ah, yes. The rev team has actually added me. I forgot about that. So we are going to be adding a ninja here sweet um i am already a bait so it doesn't matter let me actually put my zone in the back I'll, I'll try to fill my role we'll use batman instead he has clover he's pretty strong go ahead and check this out so i'm just gonna go ahead and auto on through this i will go ahead and see y'all when we get to the boss and until then enjoy the content guys be right back okay we went ahead and reached the boss this is from Jivika. Jivika? Jivika. Oh my god, who the hell cares? I'll call him G. Minusculous Hubble D. Hoy. I how dare to interfere with my invasion. Uh. You little mumpsums. Mumpsimus. <laughs> I'll show you what's good. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's check him out before he just dies. So, he has water damage, water resistance. Um, he has snitch. I'm not gonna read it. Anyways, uh, water damage to the weakest enemy. So he hits baits. You're gonna want to get rid of him for sure. He is a speedy boy that hits baits, and that's never good. Okay, so deals water damage and drain from the closest enemy two times. He hits closest and weakest. So it seems like it's gonna have to be tank, DPS, bait in the back. Unless he has a furthest, he does not. Okay, another weakest. Pretty scary. So that's not too much damage there, but he does have high speed. This one right here does a lot of damage. It can do up to almost 5k. That's scary. And drain health from all enemies. So he has some self-sustain as well, and he has poke on the DPS. I honestly think none of these two guys here are anything to worry about. 
I say save your SP and just nuke him up front as much as possible. But seeing as I have my carries here, I'm just going to auto on through. But what you got to do is just nuke him out first. He is priority numero uno. So I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this. And I'll see you at the end of the dungeon. <laughs> that was super fast. Okay, let's go ahead and go to town. Nice, got those 100 gems, let's collect. Okay, so we are going to the first flag on the second part of this. Hit colony, scan the colony and defeat all enemies. Defeating all enemies is a big thing in this area it seems. So we're going to get some rune fragments and a potion of course. 10k gold which is always nice. And we are getting two schematics. Sokragru which is a nice one. And a Flambrou which is actually another nice one. These are both familiars that are used in some d4s believe it or not um they're pretty strong but they are not worth farming they're strong in certain niches but they are not strong to use as your go-to's um strange box of course is a necessity if we can and skeleton keys let's go ahead and enter on through now i don't know how it's going to be so i'm going to put myself in the back but almost second and we're going to use the Alaris up front again this is the safest way possible would be tank up front dps healer in middle and bait and back so let's go ahead and accept. All right, let's quit this auto. This guy looks really gnarly. I love his little cup of <laughs> coffee. That's so cool. I love his cup of coffee. Anyways, earth damage, earth resistance. Um, it's the strongest enemy. He just spews his coffee at you. That sounds like it would burn. Uh, target teammate heal. Okay. Uh, spread heal teammate. So he's a healer and he does damage his strongest. He has nothing to worry about. I am literally just going to auto on through. I would just leave your team the way it is. It really does not matter how it is because he hits strongest no matter what. You could probably even have this guy up front. Um, I'm going to actually try that to see how it is, see if he gets damaged at all. It's going to look like no. So you can literally have your Omo up front and not even worry about it for this one because he only attacks strongest and he heals his teammates. You can literally have two Omos here. You can have all three DPS for this guy, honestly, if you wanted. It really would not matter, but I think having one tank for sure would be nice, and then the rest would be DPS. Um, I'm playing bait, so I really can't do that, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Uh, this is still a good setup regardless. So again, I'm going to auto on through this. I have Omo up front for the memes. He never really gets front man time, so I'm going to put him there just so he can enjoy it a little bit. I love all these little Melvins. Look at these guys singing in the back. That's so funny. Ooh, you suck! The little Melvue in the front falling over there in the middle. He's like, my man. Oh, this seems new here. Where did y'all come from? Let's go ahead and move him back to the middle and check him out. Furthest and closest. Yeah, he had to ruin the party. Furthest and closest. It's whatever. And then we have weakest enemy two times. Okay, so he's going to be poking at me, huh? Closest two enemies. So... There is no safe spot from this man's. Okay, closest two enemies, weakest, furthest and closest. Technically, you're still safest in the front, but there's a lot of them. Let's see how it treats it. There's a lot of them and that's a lot of zero SP for 2000 speed. How fast is Omo? He's slower and how fast am I? I do not know. <laughs> I will find out. Let's see how this goes. I think he'd be okay up front. Because they don't really do that much damage to the front. He'd still be safest up front if you really think about it. He would be safest up front. So let's go ahead and check him out one more time. I want to see what he does again. Furthest, weakest, closest to. So I'm not going to want to be there. I'm going to want to be here. That way, <sighs> closest to is still going to poke me out. I guess this is the best setup. It doesn't really matter, honestly. I'm just going to auto on through this. Um, they don't do nearly enough damage. They are literally tickling me. Um, Omo can literally tank up front while there's still people that, that poke him. It does not matter because these familiars are very, very weak. Omo is safest up front or second, I believe. Um, but I think up front would be better. That way, whenever there is an attack strongest guy, he wouldn't be just nuking your Yolarius as much as he is. As you can see, Omo is losing some health. But it's fine because we cleared that, that flag like nothing. So let's go ahead and go on to the next flag. We got some rune fragments, which is always nice. Gold, of course, which is great. Let's go ahead and check this out. Worm's Shelter. 
clear the shelter of all enemies, we're going to be get a bubbling cauldron. Pretty garbage. I wish they give us legendaries, but it's fine. Uh, ancient fragment and some gold. Ancient fragments are nice. Let's go and check this out. It seems like the same loot. What was this epic over here? Jerbo stamp, of course. And yeah, the key. The only good thing here would be the key and the legendary enchant. We are going to put... Mm, I think Oma will just have to be in the middle. It might be better for you, Lars, to be up front. He is a tank after all. He can take some pokes. So this would still be the better option. Any newbies here? No newbies? I'm going to go ahead and auto on through. If you see here, though, he will get a little more poked out than usual, only because one guy is attack strongest and one guy is closest and furthest. So he's going to be getting poked out a little bit, but that is fine. That is fine. We have Omo for the heals. We have um, a lot of heal defensive brains, heal and shield, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine for sure. I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this until I see either a new enemy or we're done with the dungeon, so enjoy. Alright, so we went ahead and got some gold and experience. That's fine. We were able to steamroll through them like nothing. Let's go ahead and collect. We are now in the third flag of the second part of this. We are going to be getting a nice super potion, which is nice to stack up on. And we are going to be defeating uh, whatever that guy's name is and Elemental Fragment. Let's go ahead and continue. Anything new here? No, there isn't. Same team. Same layout. Now, there should be a new familiar here, I believe. There he is. In all his glory. Okay. Earth damage to the closest enemy. 5% Earth resistance. Drain from all enemies. He seems like a damage dealer because he has very low stam, but that is not a problem. So it looks like Hilarious is best up front. Omo is going to get poked out regardless. I believe you will want to take him out before even this guy, only because look at this guy's health. 1900 for me. And this guy's health right here. 500 for me. I'm pretty sure I could just... Oh, he... Okay, he evaded it. Whatever. I can just hit him once with Omo and he might die. Let's check it out. Boom. Oh, wow. He took a hit. Whatever. Two hits, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this. I'm pretty sure we should be able to destroy them like nothing. Um, Eulerius might get poked out quite a bit, so just keep an eye on his health. But I will auto this until we get to the larger variant of him. So just focus him. He is really cool, by the way. He looks really awesome. Hey, beautiful. Would you mind to let me destroy this entire refuge before we fight each other? Okay, let's dance. DJ, play my song. Whoa! Okay, turn auto off. Don't want to destroy him. You already know how he is, but I'll go over it one more time. This is Lutrekara? I'll call him Lut. So Lut does the strongest enemy again. He spills his little coffee at you. Heals target teammate, and he spread heals teammates. So he pretty much has a very useless 2 SP for him. It's just... its I mean, it gives more health, I guess, but... It's just, he's, he's just going to be nuking the heck out of Hilarious, so. Let's just go ahead and auto on through this. We should be able to do more damage than he does to us. Seeing as once he gets low, he will just be trying to heal himself. Yes. So the more you damage him, the more he'll just be focusing on himself. So you're going to want to just poke him out, poke him out, poke him out until he's about halfway health. And then no matter how low you are, you might want to heal yourself once or twice, but... Pretty much, you're just going to damage him because once he gets to a low health, he's like, just right now, you're going to see, he's just trying to heal himself to stay alive. So, he's a pretty easy boss, pretty easy uh, flag three. Just got to focus him. Again, he does target the strongest. So, if you are a bait with two um, DPS, they will be getting hit first. Just remember that. Okay. Should be done here. Just about. This looks like the last one down here. This area was actually pretty, pretty easy for introducing elements. I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but it does seem like we're just steamrolling through this. But everyone knows the hardest part is usually in the third set of flags. We got some golden experience. Nothing else exciting. Let's go ahead and continue. All right. We got the useless elemental fragments and the super potion along with the 10k gold. Let's collect. Now we are going to be at the underground refuge, which is where you... Dig your way to Jervis and defeat him. We get another 100 gems and two stat points, which is nice. Anything new here? We got the mud, of course, the sacre and the flambre, and the strange box. I don't know why I say it like that. I just like saying it like that. So again, uh, pretty much mud, the strange box, and the key is what we're aiming for. Let's go ahead and enter on through. 
Um, again, we do have our carries, so I'm just gonna auto until we get to the boss. I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, we're pulling up to the boss now. This guy looks so funny, Jervis. For 20 long years, I was a slave of the Melvin army. But now, thanks to Uptown Funk, <laughs> I'm a free man! <laughs> okay, let's check him out real quick. He does damage to weakest enemy. That is a gnarly little kick there. Earth damage to the closest enemy. A little kick again. Boom, little twisty action. Let's go. Target enemy. Okay, big belch action. That's so funny. Look at that big cloud. Uh, target enemy. So any drain so far? No, it's just closest. Weakest closest. So he's going to be poking me out. A weakest closest target, which means he can hit our almost. Uh, deals damage, earth damage, to the weakest and strongest enemy. So he is a t all around everything. He can do everything. So you're going to want to take him out ASAP Arena. He does a decent amount of damage. Look at that 6.6k right there. So he is target numero uno. Thank heck he is up front. You're going to want to take him out as fast as possible. If your carries are weaker, you might struggle. If you're going from there's only, you definitely might struggle. So I recommend getting some pretty decent um, carries. I'd say around tier 12 is when you're going to want to start asking for some better carries. Uh, because usually your first few carries are going to be lacking a little bit. They might be hovering around the tier 14 area. Uh, they should still be able to handle this, but just to be safe, try to get something around the tier 16 plus in the carry factory. <laughs> just so you can do a little better in your next raid for the next tier. So I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this, and I'll see you at the end of the dungeon. Huh. Every time I say that, we seem to be right at the end of the dungeon. It is fine. We got some experience and gold. Let's go ahead and go to town. Nice. Some more gems. Let's go. And we have these stat points. Let's go ahead and put those on real quick. I hate seeing that little plus there. Sweet, okay. I really want to make enchants, but look at my my my, my epic materials is so sad. I want to make three. I'd never roll these, never roll these. Always hardcraft, always. Trust me, especially if you're a tanker bait. You don't want any of those uh, dookie doo doo offensive buffs. Unless it's, unless it's Empower. Empower is good no matter what. But anyways, let's go ahead and go on through the quest. We are going to be starting on the third part of Zord Attacks, first flag. Clear the battlefield of all enemies. A lot of all enemies clearing, it's fine. Rune fragments, great. Average energy potion, poopy. 10k gold, really nice. Let's go ahead and check out the rewards. The Kimusaba schematic, very, very nice tank. One of the strongest. Are you going to make him? Probably not as a free, play, free to play. I do not recommend making him. Uh, he's very expensive, but if you do decide to do it, he's very strong. He's a good damage uh, damage reduction familiar, and I believe he'll shine no matter what. You could even slap evade on him, but I just recommend slapping on uh, damage reduction. But anyways, uh, Visalo, he's pretty good if you've made Euclid, because you can turn him into a phenomenal healer that has cleanse as well. So Vilcio is pretty strong if you get the schematic and you were already making Euclid, because I know a lot of you players out there uh, tend to lead towards Euclid for some reason. If you make Euclid, you could turn him into a phenomenal healer, but I don't recommend doing that unless you have another DPS familiar that you are working on. You can get the schematic, you can farm everything to make Vilcio and have him plus five, but do not do that until you get a fully built DPS familiar to replace Euclid. So just keep that in mind. And if you're going to replace him, he has to be better. Make sure he has elements. Make sure he's very strong. Don't get Melborg. Don't get Chedzanaiki. Chedzanaiki is solid, but he doesn't have elements and he won't shine in the late game. I only know one person that was able to get uh, to tier 18 with Chedzanaiki. Yeah, I just, I really recommend not making Vilcio until you have a replacement. But that is a very good schematic to get. You also have Strange Box, of course, and the key. Strange Box key and the schematic, legendary, of course, are pretty good to get here. Let's go ahead and continue. Um, let's go ahead and keep it the same layout because we don't know who we're seeing here. Let's turn auto off. Now, this guy looks pretty gnarly. Oh, this guy up front looks so cool. Look at him. Okay, electric damage. Okay, electric damage to closest enemy. He's a little turd. He's just going to be poking at us. Furthest enemy, he's super turd. I don't like him already. Okay, um, he has decent speed, a lot of damage, very low health. So he seems like a DPS, that's all it is. Here, it's going to be damage closest. Uh, let's see his stats real quick. He's pretty well-rounded, a little more speed. 
Damage closest, uh, target enemy. So he is going to be enemy number one to take out. Believe it or not, Solar Sun is definitely going to be taken out just because of his speed and his target. Uh, for this enemy two times, yeah. We're going to probably put me up front here, but seeing as how nuked he got, that's pretty scary. That's a lot of damage. For this enemy, his SP. Yeah, for this enemy, their SP attacks. So since they're going to be doing a lot more damage with their SP attacks, I'm going to put me up front. That way, uh, Eularius can take more of the heat. So, again, you're going to want to target out Solar Sun over Z. <laughs> Neutro Mixolizer. I'm going to call him Neutro. Uh, so, Neutro is going to be your secondary option to attack. So, again, Solar Sun, poke him out as much as possible. I'm going to manual this area because it seems like I might actually just swap. I'm going to be struggling here. Let's try Eularius up front. Okay, so it seems like we could take them out pretty easy. We just have to remember that I forgot I only have 1300 stamps, so I can't be up front. If I had the 2000 stamp, I was aiming for maybe, but right now I can't. So we're going to be doing all out damage here. We might be struggling here, and it's unfortunate because we have no other materials to get a legendary neck piece. We still have that mythic tier 11, which is still a decent amount of stats. But let's go ahead and check this out. So we're going to be doing as much damage as possible compared to heals because Omo heals as it is, as do I. So I'm going to keep myself alive and you're always going to want to use your three for Eularius so he can keep healing himself. Omo just dish out the damage. Just keep dishing out that damage. Using your random enemy is always the best thing with Omo if you have a good brain. I have a phenomenal brain on him. I'm really trying to get a phenomenal defensive brain. That is the, what I'm going to spend my gems on next, hopefully. That or an offensive pet brain. Now, since I am looking pretty weak there, I'm going to want to use heals on him. Let me use heals for me. Let's use heals from Omo. Heals for me. Nice. Drain. Okay, let's go ahead and use heals for me again. This is looking pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and use heals. Oh, I got a nice heal there. Okay. Let's go ahead and shield myself to get that deflect. And let's drain. Perfect. Man, those empowered heals are really, really nice. They come in clutch so much. I think I had destroy all enemies or clear enemies, so... Okay, I'm gonna swap out real quick. Does he have a furthest for one SP? Nobody has target. Okay, so... Hopefully he lives. I'm gonna use my mount skill. Okay, now we're gonna move him back to the front. Closest. Heals. Heals and shields. Drain. Okay, now I'm looking pretty low. I'm good now. Shield myself. Nice! Remember, you're always gonna want to have shields on yourself if you have the same offhand that I have. Just to get that five deflect gnarly okay so we're looking pretty good here i'm just going to do all the damage as usual just nothing but damage for now i should have used drain on eularius but that's fine it's still working out in our favor looks like z did not want to join us i want some more shields for my deflect some drainage there nice okay we got someone to join our team which is pretty cool solar sun always nice to have you man you're welcome anytime Awesome. It looks like we're pretty close to finishing this, but as you notice, we were not able to auto this, even with everything we have. And as focused as we have it, we should be fine, but we're not. I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal and shield. Now I'm going to start attacking. To weakest. Drain to stay alive. Random. Weakest there. Okay, just keep using 1SPs. I'll drain with him. You know, I'll heal with him. It's fine. Now 1SP spam. Should be fine here. Yeah, I'm fine. Nice. Awesome. We're done let's go ahead and continue let's go ahead and see what else there is that might just be it right there yes okay cool so that's cool we got solar sun he looks pretty cool i like that we got him that's pretty awesome got some experience in gold as well and here we got some rune fragments and gold let's collect let's go ahead and go here to the turbine tower climb the tower and defeat all enemies okay not a problem anything new here seems like the same schematic the enchant and the key Seeing as it was very hard last time, any other way we put it, we're going to keep this the same. Let's go ahead and accept. All right, so this guy looks new. He looks pretty awesome. And he hits pretty hard. Closest enemy, electric damage. Strongest enemy. Okay, so that is very unfortunate. We might have to move him to the back, which sucks because we are very, very weak. So let's go ahead and see if we can reforge our neck here in a second. Oh my, see, I died. Let's go ahead and revive and put Hilarious up front. Let's go ahead and do heals. We're gonna have to play this very, very safe. 
I cannot be up front at all right now. I'm going to see if I can reforge my neck now. I think it was 150k, which sucks. So I'm going to see what I can do real quick. Go ahead and shield myself. I just got to stay alive as much as possible. Let's heal Eulerius. Okay, that guy died to deflect, which is good and bad at the same time. I wanted to farm off him. Let's go ahead and see if I can reforge this yet. I don't think I can. That is so much gold. They need to lower the gold for reforging because that is... A little too much just to reforge. I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> Gold has been a problem for a while. Okay, so let's come over here. I'm afraid I'm about to get nuked out on Eulerius, but let's try it. I already died, so I can't be up front at all. Okay, he's alive. I'm going to heal him as much as I can. Drain. He died. That's unfortunate. Okay, so this might be our stopping point. This guy is very strong. He is definitely your main focus. And then you're going to take out Solar Sun. That is going to be the order of things. We're going to make sure we take them out as fast as possible. Like, no other options. And we're going to keep sustaining if we have to. So I'm definitely going to shield myself like crazy and drain like crazy. And I'm going to be healing. I might even just rely on the deflex to take them out. So for right now, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to just be self-sustaining, self-sustaining, self-sustaining. Unless there's two of these guys up front, then I gotta take them out. That is not looking bueno at all. Okay, I do not want to use Hilarious, so I am going to put Omo up front, believe it or not. Put myself in back. So he doesn't get poked out. Okay, so Omo died. I can revive him now. And then I'm gonna put me up front. And I'm going to put Eulerius in back. Okay, so I'm going to shield myself. Yeah, that looks like GG here. We might have to run double Omo. We will check it out here. We're actually getting through this surprisingly. We might have to run double Omo. I'm kind of worried that we might not have enough to defeat this area. So, Eulerius is dead. I'm dead. Yeah, that's pretty much game. I don't think Omo can handle that. So what we're going to do is try double Omo instead, and I need to find a way to get more health. I just really have to. I don't have enough health here. Um, I, it's unfortunate that this costs so much. It's just ridiculous. Um, what I can do is probably reforge this, which I really don't want to do. I can't even do that. I cannot even do that because Omo is still going to have way less health than me. I have to reforge this one, which is so lame. Okay. Um, what about this one? Just as expensive. And I need to do the three-way one. That's the only way I could do it. Maybe the weapon can? It's quite unfortunate that you can't do the three-way one with the weapon or anything. That's really dumb. That's fine. I'll just uh, try it with double Omo instead. So this is getting a lot more difficult now. I don't know if I could tank up front. I can try adding Drazig to the mix. Let me try adding a Drazig to the mix. I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm planning on doing is taking quite a risk here. <laughs> I'm thinking of actually unstabling one of my Omos, sadly. So he's gonna be a plus four, he's gonna be a lot weaker. Not by a great margin since it won't really be affecting his pumps or anything. And I will be making another Drazig and slapping him on my team instead. Let's try that out. Let's see how he does. We're going to have to. Uh, let's go ahead and stable him. Nice. So that's already going to make him very strong. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do quests. We're going to do the flag. And let's try this out. Let's get rid of Omo. Well, let's put Drazik. So what we're going to do here is everything Omo has, we're going to put on him. So we're going to put the hidden enemy. Of course, Omos. Where's Omos? Omos probably... Oh, wow. Uh, skills that cost more damage. What is this? Heal power. Heal power. Heal power would have been nice with Omo. I don't know why I'm not using that with him. But we'll use this one. I don't think... Does Drazik have heals? Target teammate. I'd rather have the SP one. And we will also be putting on... 
First attacking opponent has increased chance to be empowered. That would be nice. But second one is so okay, I'd rather have the empower one. Here, what is he? Mainly crit chance and empower. Crit chance and empower, so I'm gonna wanna put Those strike would be nice. Well, I have another deflect I could put on Hilarious. I didn't even know. Okay, so there's Empower. Put an Empower on him. Take off that speed. Let's put another Empower on him. And then we'll actually replace this Empower for some Dual Strike. Be nice right there. That's going to be six Dual Strike along with three. He's a little weak there, but we'll try it out. <laughs> we'll try it out. And for you, sir, we will be replacing this with this. Whoops. This. There you go. A little more deflect goes a long way, buddy. So let's try this out. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to keep it the same way. Jurassic is a lot faster than these guys. So that's what's great. Solar Stun is still pretty fast. I don't know how I got hit already, but that's fine. Let's see what this does real quick. Damage to target enemy and self. So I'm going to take this guy out. Wow, that does a lot of damage. So let's put this guy in the back. Shield myself. Drain. Let's go ahead and heal this guy. This seems to be going okay. There's a lot of these other enemies, which is very dangerous. But it seems like everything's going well. I'm going to try to sustain as much as possible by healing and shielding everyone. That's great. I might be better up front, but it's still very risky. So Jurassic seems to be doing some work, but I'm also taking quite a bit of damage. So these guys are definitely target number one. Take them out. Shield myself for more deflect. Take them out. Let's go ahead and swap over Eularius for a second. Shield myself. Go ahead and heal me. Now we'll swap back. Looks like swapping is going to be a big part of this dungeon right now. Go ahead and drain. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and shield self. And take some more hits. I don't want to use Eularius, so I don't want to lose him. I'm going to heal him up. That's good. Okay, we're going to swap him out because I do have lower HP. You got to remember that. Shield myself. Let's heal myself. Nice. Now we're going to be doing as little damage as possible. We can heal on up. Nice. He killed himself with deflect. Not the best ending there because I wanted to heal more, but that is fine. Climbing this tower is quite a nightmare. I really hope that purple guy is not the big version in the next flag if we get to it. Because he is very, very scary. So I'm going to put myself up front. Probably a bad idea. We'll check it out here. Go and heal me. Nice. Now we are relying on that deflect. I died. I don't know why, but they are destroying me. I'm going to have to go in the back, and I'm going to have to just take them out as fast as possible, like I said. It seems like this might be one of those dungeons where you just have to do as much damage as possible. We gotta kill this guy. Let's go ahead and shield ourselves. Oh, I really need Hilarious to live here. Let's go ahead and give him heals. I have to hit him no matter what. That's unfortunate. Okay, so Hilarious might get nuked on the next familiar, but we might be almost done. We did quite a bit of them. And yes, there might be one more guy over here. Okay, so he's alive, which is good. If I can get to my mount skill, that'd be great. Okay, I could heal him. Darn, almost. Okay, so let's revive him one more time. So now we can swap between us since we both have died already, but I might be swapping with Drazik so he can take a hit. Again, he does have very little <laughs> HP, so you gotta be careful. I'm gonna see if Weakest can take the guy in front out. Nope, that's unfortunate. Let's take the guy up front out for sure. He evaded! That is always the best thing ever, <laughs> okay? Let's put me up front. I am scared. Okay, they targeted out Drazik. That's good and bad at the same time. So I'm gonna shield myself for the deflect. Okay, so we lost a guy. Which is not looking good at all right now. Shield self is always best for me right now. Take up the guy up front. We need to take him out really bad. Okay, shield self again. Let's go ahead and heal him. 
heal. Drazic. Okay. Hopefully there's not another guy. If there's another guy, we're doomed. <sighs> there is another guy. And there might be more. Oh my. We might have to go through this one more time. It's a very small team here. We could be lucky here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh man. We're going to have to try that again. Oh, we're getting closer though. We are getting closer. That is for sure. So it seems like Drazic is actually a better option. Alright, let's try again with the Drazig. We are just going to have to be a little more careful. We'll try to SP save as much as possible. Um, the problem is I just don't do enough damage right now. I'm not fast enough. So, as you can see here, Eulerius is just tanking, taking a lot of damage. His deflex are just not going off as much as I would hope. Um, we're going to have to heal him up. If he dies here, that's already going to have to be a restart. Let's go ahead and try shielding myself and going up front. Drain. Yeah, I'm going to restart. I'm not going to go into this with a deceased Hilarious on the very beginning. So let's go ahead and try again. I'm going to try changing the brain now. I have this one right here, attack weakest enemy for when I hit an enemy, and there is a 21% chance, so I will be doing more damage. I feel like we need to do more damage right now, so let's try it out. Okay, cool. We were able to take some hits. Just get some SP going, it will be good. Nice. We'll swap me up front, because I'll be able to shield myself. Awesome, okay. Drain have to have him alive I'm just gonna keep restarting until okay so you can see here that he is the one that's really messing with me at the beginning so these guys here are definitely the problem. I have to stay shielded as much as possible and I have to take them out, like fast. The thing is I can heal up pretty fast. Okay, so that sustain route seems to be good, but I gotta be careful with my SP. If there's an SP shrine here, it will be so valuable to me. What sucks is I have to take out every enemy here, which is what's making it very, very difficult. So take out the guy in back first. Okay, I need to stay alive. I need to stay alive. I have to shield. I don't want to, but I have to. I'll heal me. And then we'll do as much damage with Hilarious as possible. Let's take out the guy up front. Nice. Okay. I'm going to save SP by doing zero SPs like crazy right now. I'm going to have to. Okay, as long as we have 1 to 2 SP, we should be fine. So it seems like we're going to have to have 1 to 2 SP going in every fight. Bait up front, they can take damage. It might be better to use either more deflect or just some serious damage reduction or Glars Dose even. Um, this is a pretty hard area. As you can see here, I deflected and I still got hit uh, pretty bad. I'm guessing they both hit me and he got the deflect. So I'm going to target him out since he's the weakest. Um, I'm going to shield myself. I'm going to target the second guy. Nice. Okay. I got lucky there. The other guy um, deflected himself. We're going to zero SP our way to victory here. Because I should be able to heal myself. Perfect. Okay. So this is a much better run so far now that I have it down. It seems like you have to have your bait up front. And you have to take out the back line really, really fast. This guy right here is unforgiving right now. And there's three of them here. Solar Sun is very deadly. Uh, what's this? Damage to an enemy. That is a lot of damage. Weakest enemy. That will kill him. 8,000. 8,500. That's a lot. That's also very little for a chance. So I'm going to do that. I'm going. I wish there was a drain all with this. This would be the best thing ever if there was a drain all. I'm going to shield myself. Nice. More deflect is always nice. Let's go ahead and do as much damage as possible. Kill this guy back here. Let's kill him real quick kill this guy now great so just zero sp to victory zero sp to victory nice it looks like that damage brain is doing some work versus the heal brain uh it seems like we just have to kill them more so i don't know if you saw but i did change brains with 
um, my Jurassic here, he does now have a 21% chance to attack weakest enemy when you hit an enemy, and it is only an epic. So, and he's only plus two. If you have a rare and you have a maxed out already, that rare brain is going to be better than my 20% epic, I'm pretty sure. So, the guy in the back's pretty weak, target him out. It's shield myself to stay alive, do as much damage as possible here. Now let's heal me. Okay, shield myself again. So sustain seems to be very key here. Kill the guy in the back. Sustain, okay. Strongest, shield self. Closest, closest. Let's go. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Nice, we were able to get past that flag. That flag was a nightmare, guys. Complete nightmare, honestly. But it's fine, we got past it. Now on to this one. Power through and defeat Solar Sun. Oh no, it's Solar Sun. That's not good. The same rewards. Let's go ahead and enter. We're gonna keep the teams the same. But again, I think I had Yolaris up front to take first hit. And then we swapped me to back. Let's try that again. I might be mistaken, but we'll try it. Okay, so he took first hit. Great. Put me up front now. So closest. Oh, we got this guy now again. He does a furthest and closest. He's just going to be poking us out. I don't, I haven't been able to deal with this guy yet, but we'll see how he is. So far, he's quite annoying because he's poking me out. Oh, man. Okay, I'm, I'm okay so far, but I think if I get towards the end and I don't have health or no SP, I think I'll be screwed. But we'll check it out. Let's go. Okay, we know this guy's not needed to be fought. We know this path is safe. Let's go left. Okay. Seems like more path here, which is good. Let's go ahead and shield myself a bit there. We definitely want to heal and shield self. Okay. Take out the guy as fast as possible. Heal myself. Heal and shield. Oh man, this is looking very bad. I'm going to have to swap real quick. Shield myself. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Drain. Man, they love poking me out, huh? Put me in the middle. Nice. Shield myself. Okay, let's heal. Okay, now we can go back to the original setup with me up front. Shield myself. That's unfortunate. I'm up front. Okay, I'm up front. I'm probably going to get nuked out right away. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully there's a heal shrine here. That'd be the best case scenario. I believe the boss... Yep, he should be there. It's a very long path. So hopefully we don't die. Okay, nice. Let's heal me. Okay. Drain. I gotta go second and Drazzy gotta go back real quick. I have to heal. But I'm going to take out this guy real quick before anything. Because I think I'm fine here. I just need to... Okay, okay, okay. So we can go back to OG style just in case stuff goes wrong. I don't know what I'm doing there. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. Drain. Shield, just keep shielding self. Like, I just gotta stay shielded. Heal myself. Okay, now I gotta worry about healing this guy back here. I will do that. Boom, okay. Let's go ahead and heal him again. Let's go ahead and keep healing. Drain a little bit. Now let's get some shields and heals on Jurassic. Perfect, okay. So we're not topped off, but we're doing pretty good. And we have some SP on my character, which is what matters right now for the shield. This guy might just destroy us. I should have probably put Hilarious up front. Hopefully I stay alive. You think you have a chance with the most advanced elemental ever? No, you don't, honey. Okay, and I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we are going to kill these guys up front as fast as possible. Yikes! Okay, what do you do again? Furthest, I'm guessing? Yeah, furthest two times. So, yeah, I'll do that real quick. I'm gonna heal on up. Nice. So much damage we can do to him. Not much. Holy, we got nuked. Okay, so we're gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna drain. Okay, this is looking very bad. Let's heal me real quick, okay? Okay, I am dead, which is very bad. I'm gonna revive myself. I'm gonna put Yolaris up front. He's gonna take that hit. I'm gonna put... I'll leave Jurassic there. Why am I dying so fast? I need to heal me, and I need to heal both of them, because I think just because they are, like... I don't even know how to explain it. I just gotta be careful. Okay, so... Gotta keep those shields going. 
Hilarious is the least important guy right now. We gotta just do mad damage to him. Mad damage. Does he have a heal? Does he have a heal or something? He's just healing. I don't know if you saw that, but he is just healing. So, just mad damage his way. Just mad damage. Okay, okay, we can't lose Drazig. Mad damage is all we can... No, we could not lose Drazig. <laughs> we gotta rely on Deflex. Ooh! As you saw there, though, it is very, very possible. Let's try that one more time. Let's try again. Accept. Okay. Got that item find bonus, which is... Okay. Let's go through here. Check this guy out. Guy in the front's the problem, I believe. Oh, forgot to swap. Let's go ahead and swap him out. Gotta remember that his deflect is a lot lower than mine, which is why he's taking quite the beating compared to us. He might die here, so I'm gonna have to heal him. Don't want to. Yeah, they're targeting Jurassic now, which is not good. Shield self, heal Jurassic, and let's drain with Hilarious. Looking good so far, everything's okay. Let's heal Hilarious. Nice. Okay. Heal and shield everybody. Let's heal me. Bring with him. Heal self. Okay. I need to stop killing him as fast as I am. Killing him way too fast. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I need to swap out brains. I'm not sure if swapping out the brain actually works. People say it doesn't work, but I've tried it and it works for me, so. I'll keep trying it if it works. Let's go ahead and take out the guy in the back, of course. Let's drain, just to keep the sustain. Shield self. Front. Okay, we're doing good so far. Save as much SP as possible right now. Um, actually, I'm gonna heal. I wanna heal, I don't wanna do that, but I'm gonna have to. He's looking pretty low. I really need to get rid of the guy in the front here, but I can't like lose too much HPs right now. There you go, okay. So we should be able to heal up quite a bit here. Nice! We got the deflect as well. Let's go ahead and heal and shield everyone. Let's go ahead and heal Hilarious, shield self. Okay, zero SPs, perfect. Okay, we were able to come back up. So let's go up to the money bag. Maybe we'll unlock that corner. We did, there's nothing but gold. Let's go to this guy. I hate when it's forcing you to pretty much go through that one area. Like, I get it, but like, sometimes I just get like a whole route of having to clear the dungeon before actually fighting the boss, and it's a little annoying, but I mean, I get it. It's just a randomizer. It's all luck based. So, shield up. Let's damage the front guy. Nice, okay. Let's drain. Closest, shield, and okay. We got the back guy. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Shield self. Okay, we should be fine here. Okay, cool. So heal me. Heal and shield. Okay. We're doing okay. Keep shielding myself. I'll heal myself again. Brain. Heal and shield. Heal hilarious. Okay. Shield self. Now I'm gonna zero SP the rest of this. Actually, I can't. I need hilarious to have full health. Okay. Shield self. Now I'm gonna zero SP, which is not gonna be much, unfortunately. It's fine. We're full health and that's what matters. Even though SP is a pretty big deal. Okay, we have... Ooh, an SP Shrine. Okay, so here we're going to be focusing a lot on just staying as healthy as possible. Nice, okay. So we can use as much abilities as we want right now. We have no need to save at all. Just destroy, destroy, destroy. Let's drain because it's the least. Shield self and attack him. Okay, nice. Awesome. We have some shields and everything, and now we're going to have max SP, depending on who's next. Yeah. Let's um kill this guy first. I don't want to waste any SP. I want to have as much as possible to just nuke the guy in the back. Do closest. Nuke him out. Oh, we got to focus on staying alive. I forgot. We got to get the guy in the back. Like, really bad. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Shield self. Target the guy in the back, like, ASAP. Okay. Now, I'm trying to self-sustain here more than anything. Because remember, we do have the SP Shrine. So just get as much shields as possible. As much heals as possible. That is the goal right now. Nice. So we're pretty topped off here. 
I believe after here should be the boss. Still no. See what I mean about the straight path? I literally had to go through every other familiar <laughs> to get to this guy. So we're gonna target out the front guy. Get him out of the way real quick. Remember, use as much damaging abilities as possible for the first few. And then when you get to the last one, nothing but sustain. See here, now it's just sustain. Sustain. Okay, I have to damage him there. So I'm sustain. Draining. See if I can heal. Nice. Oh, shell, shield self since I'm pretty low. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm going to get this shrine real quick before we go to him. Now, we should be ready to go on this. We should be. So, let's go. Let's do this. As long as I don't get nuked out right away. Okay, nice deflex. So, I think I'm just going to focus on the guy in the back, honestly. And I'm going to... Oh my god, he got hit hard. Um, what is this? Random enemy? No. I think I just need to... I think I need to heal Eulerius. There you go. There you go. Your Eulerius damages the front, while Jurassic damages the back line. I shield self. Okay. You gotta keep it going. Keep it going. We're doing good. Oh yeah, we got this. We definitely got this. Get out of here. Awesome. So it seems like we had to get the guy in the back and have a lot of SP to do it. So I guess for this part, um, if you can nuke the back line, get as much SP as possible to be able to do that. That took quite a while. Um, I'm not going to lie. If you guys are having any problems, feel free to either join the Discord or um, hit me up in the comment section and I can go ahead and help you all out depending on your gear. But I'm pr uh, pretty much the way we were running everything, just follow that to the exact and you'll be fine. I'm so glad we got that flag. Okay, so now we pretty much just got this last spot. The pay, uh, pay doctor bird dot a visit and defeat him. So we're going to get three stat points and 100 gems. Let's go ahead and go through. Same team as always. Rev it up, boys. Okay. Just going to auto on through until I get to the boss. Enjoy the content. All right. So here's the boss. It looks really cool. Little cloudy person. What? You think you can beat me? When you believe in things that you don't understand, then you suffer. Superstition ain't the way, little one. I'll show you. Okay. Um, let's check him out real quick. Okay, he's electric damage, electric resistance, deals electric damage to the closest enemy. Oh, that's a really cool animation. Um, electric damage to the strongest enemy. Boom. Heals target teammate, all right. And spread shield and heal teammates. Not too bad. Um, his stats, he's more like a healer than anything. He's not really too crazy, so you could take him out first if he's giving you a problem, but again, you are able to use your carries here. So don't worry about him too much. Just focus him, then maybe the little guy, and then the guy in the back, and you'll be fine. All righty, all righty. We are finally done with that, guys. Amazing. There's our 100 gems, and there's our stat points. Let's go ahead and check this out. Goodbye, Zord Attacks. Completed. Good riddance. Been there quite a while. Okay, Ancient Odyssey. Let's go, guys. We got this. Nice. All right, let me check out something real quick. Let me spend these points. Okay. Now, before anything, let me go ahead and finish up these uh, areas real quick. That way I can show you the rewards for Trials and Gauntlet. I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and finished up the rest of this. It did take quite a while. The later you go on, the longer they take. Um, the cool thing is we unlocked the dungeon, which we won't be able to do for quite a while. Um, this one's actually kind of hard. Um, clears the dungeon of all enemies, but pets abilities are disabled But you do get a nice little bit gore from it. So that'd be nice if one day we can come back and get that Let's go ahead and leave this. Let's go ahead and show you guys the rewards So right now we have invasion and the invasion rewards as you can see here. They were originally tier 12 and now they are tier 13. Oh, yeah Tier 13 so as you can see here everything here will be tier 13 nothing here is worth scrap it all the only thing you would want here an invasion would again be the legendaries and um maybe some of these would be good like 
Yeah, none of these are good. I would just stick with the legendaries for now. I wouldn't do any of the sets. And the mythics, uh, this is a terrible mythic. It's a 1% quad strike, uh, 3 damage, and 3 damage reduction. So. As you can see there, it's pretty much the same stuff as always. Uh, let's go to Gauntlet. Let's go ahead and check it out at tier 13. Let's click in this real quick. Awesome. Now we have uh, some pretty cool cosmetic mythics here. This one's actually really nice. It's the one that my main character was wearing right now, actually. Um, it's not good um, <laughs> to use though, but it's, uh, it's, it's a nice mythic. I wouldn't go out of my way to use it or level it up, to be honest. Uh, the offhand here is going to be patience increase your damage reduction by two percent for each sp you have until eight percent now this would be cool but damage reduction really isn't too great right now um at least in the future part of the game and i don't plan on bringing this up with me the beads i kind of do eventually but uh right now i am not looking into bringing up this so i do not care to level this up at all this set manticore is one of my favorites but is really it's really not that great um as redirect chance and absorb chance for the two set bonus 15% uh, chance to Vampirism, uh, 2,628 when you get hit. Vampirism, pretty much, it's like if you get hit, you hit that person that hit you right back uh, with a percentage of your power or whatever. So um, it's pretty cool. It's like a little, another little deflectish kind of proc. And then the fourth part, which is the four set piece bonus, is gain 20% damage reduction and 15% redirect if you have the lowest health of your team. So this is the bait set for this tier. Um, it's okay. I really don't like that it's damage reduction, which is why I'm not really going to try going for it. But that is going to be the loot drops for Trials and Gauntlet. Let's go ahead and go to World Boss. And I believe this is the last tier where you can effectively go to... Oh, not even. I think tier 12 was the last for Nether. Let's check it out. Oh, no. So Orlag's last was 12, but Nether's last is 13. I did not know that. That's crazy. So Orlag ends at 12, sadly. So that's the end of Orlag. But Nether is still here for tier 13. Let's go ahead and check them out. Same cosmetics as always. We also have a Mythic Body, which is 5% in power when above 75% HP. Now, if you're a DPS, this is a cool Mythic. Do I recommend farming it? Not really. Um, you're going to be farming this mainly to finish Drazig in tier 13. Um, you should be finishing Drazig by the time you're about to leave tier 13 or being very close to it. So I recommend you finish Drazig uh, before you proceed any further if you can or at least get him to like plus three. But I really recommend you have two plus fives if possible because you never know when you're going to need uh, multiple DPS. If you can get even three plus fives, that would be great, which just means you're going to be making a total of eight of them. So right now I have a total made of, I believe, three or four, and I pretty much just need a, I'm halfway there, so it's not too bad. Anyways, the uh, offhand here is going to be wa uh, electric damage and water resistance. You're going to be gaining a 0.5% damage uh, for each healing bonus up to 15%. So it's pretty dookie doo. I would not go for it at all. Anything involving healing is poopy. Uh, same schematics as always. The legendaries here are pretty cool. I love the cosmetics here, so I highly recommend farming it. One of my favorite offhands here and one of my favorite uh, heads here as well. And even the body looks pretty sick. The weapon's okay. Uh, it's not too bad, but the rest of this looks really, really cool. So the set here is going to be Expender 5, gain a healing bonus of 25%. Um, Expender pretty much means you spend 5... Um, SP, I believe. So you spend 5 SP and you get that bonus. Uh, heal team when you trigger an EMP. I believe to trigger an EMP, you have to hit them a certain amount of times with shock. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much. I think it's 5? I don't remember. I could be wrong. Um, and uh, bolster spread shield for so-and-so when you hit. This is pretty much another pet proc, which is pretty cool because it's just when you hit, it's 100% percentage. So that's awesome. Um, but it is a pretty dookie set the main hand's not too bad but the healing aspect of it is just something i'm not all for um but that is another world i believe melvin's is done yeah melvin's was done a while back um exterm is done as well a while back as well it's sad there was only two tiers and i believe this one's done in tier 12 as well yes okay so we are going to be moving on to titans i don't think there's any more Ooh. There is more. I did not know Ignited Abyss opened up this early. Okay, so there's Titan's Attack here. Let's go ahead and go to tier 13. Check them out. So here we have a really, really good neck. If you are a DPS 
and you really want to go for a set, this is the set you're going to want to go for. Um, this is one of the best damage dealing sets in the game, in my opinion. Um, not just my opinion, but I guess um, on paper, it's really good. It's really, really strong. It was actually in meta for quite a while, and some people actually have it in tier 18 today. So this pretty much uh, spread heal when you hit. If you have a lot of dual strike and a lot of speed, this is amazing. You're just going to keep spread healing your whole team. It's nice. Now, I recommend not maybe going for it, but if you do plan to use this later on in the future, you could essentially go for it and up tier it if you want. But just know up tiering is very expensive. So just keep that in mind. I would honestly look at a list of all the mythics before you decide what you want to up tier if you're free to play. But um, again, I don't recommend up tiering. It's free to play. But for the second mythic here, it's going to be a mythic helmet. It's going to be Kaijin Furnace. So it has uh, water resistance and electric damage, of course, and it has adrenaline. Amplify the electric damage of your next attack by 3% until 12%, then reset. So you're going to be going from 3 to 6 to 9 to 12. So that's pretty cool. You're going to be getting extra damage, but um, I really don't think it's that great. Um, I don't recommend going for that. Um, it's pretty cool and all, but to me, it's just not, um, it's not ideal. So... I'm going to say stay away from that and just pretty much go for sets and legendaries. So there's three <laughs> mythic schematics here, which is pretty lame because it stops you from getting these awesome mythics because you have a chance of getting these. But um, Thunmolf is okay. Um, I never really used this guy, so I can't really recommend him or not, but I've never really seen anyone use him in the high ranks, so I don't recommend getting him as well. And Tethius, this schematic right here, is going to be the one mythic familiar that we try to make in this game until tier 18 at least. This is our main focus right after Drazig. We're going straight into Tethius. No and ifs, what's, or buts. So Tethius is one of the main things we want to get here. I will be saving all my honor and spending them on zeals just to get this schematic when I pop a bit more. So this is one of the most important schematics to get. Cool thing is you don't have to get it right away. Don't beat yourself up if you don't get it. What you want to do is just pretty much farm it when you're pushing zeals. Don't uh, purposely farm it. Just uh, you have all the way until whatever tier you get to to get it. But the faster the better, of course. Now, the thing about Mythic Familiars is it takes three legendary familiars to make most of the time. So I will go ahead and show you what he takes here in a second. But let's go down to the set. Deals 10% electric damage when at least three enemies are alive so that's a lot of electric damage added that's pretty good um here's the good part plus 10 percent empower each normal hit resets on empower so pretty much if you hit and it's not an empowered hit you get 10 percent more and you keep going and keep going until you have an empowered hit hit them and then here for the last bonus piece it's plus 10 percent speed plus 30 percent electric damage minus three percent damage each normal hit resets on empower so pretty much they're just trying to make it to where your normal hits don't do as much but your empowered hits come more often so that's pretty cool they're even giving you speed so they're making it to where you rarely actually hit those regular hits which is pretty great um we have these legendaries this offhand is really sick a lot of people use it it's nice it looks aesthetically pleasing as well it's just really cool it's really clean um this is going to be the materials we get these are going to be the enchants the ancient tokens let's go on with the schematics so we have Hyphia. This one isn't really needed for anything currently. This is something later on. That's if you want to make another Mythic Familiar, which I kind of recommend against. So I'm going to be avoiding that. Let's go to the second one. Uh, Demetra. I believe Demetra. Is Demetra the one I think it is? Demetra. No. I can't remember what Demetra is, but I believe they are needed for um, Tethius. I'll check in a bit. We have Kraken. I know you need Kraken for sure. And I know you need Porpheus. So I think it's just Kraken and Porpheus to make them. I don't think you need Demetra, but I could be mistaken. And then there's Demeter here, which is a fantastic legendary tank as well. Um, they specialize in Deflect, but they are far overshadowed by Tethius, which is an Evade um, familiar that has a lot, a lot of really good things about them. So that was going to be the Titans attack, tier 13. Now, I didn't even know there was this one here at tier 13. I don't remember because I wasn't around for tier 13, but I pretty much just zoomed by it when I came back. But let's go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, I remember some of these things now. This is a really cool main hand, but it's not that great. So this set, I'll tell you guys about this set. 
So they have two cool um, cosmetics here, but let's go on in order. It's gonna be fire resistance, water damage, even though it looks like a fire weapon. It's kind of weird, whatever. Uh, expender five, gain 10% damage reduction after you spent five SP. It does not stack. It's been tested by a few people that I know, and pretty much the most you can get is 10 damage reduction. So that's all it is. It's hard capped at 10 after you spend 5 SP, which is kind of hard for us considering people that need damage reduction um, don't really get that many turns by the time your character, your, your DPS destroys them. So it's not too great of a ring in my opinion. Now we have the main hand here, which is very, very nice. It um, has a bolster spread shield for when you hit. It goes really nice with the um, neck. From the other area the kaijin tier i believe but that's only if you have weave and the set so i really don't think it's worth going for this um i don't even know if you can weave the set with this main hand and that 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 um neck so if you're pay to play it would you can try it out but i mean if you're pay to play you really won't be struggling too much um as a free to play i say avoid this it doesn't do as much hits um it's more of like a healing weapon than anything because you're going really slow it's not a lot of multi-hit on this weapon so it's not too great um, Hunaku, I don't recommend making, and Zord gone or Zordong gone, whatever his name is, I don't recommend making either. Uh, we're gonna go into the set. I don't know why it's spaced out so weird. <clears throat> okay, so Book of the Flame Warden, Eyes of the Flame Warden, Pen of the Flame Warden, Frame of the Flame Warden. That's all the pieces here. So you get a extor, which pretty much means at the start of the battle, um, you deal a certain amount of damage and you gain that amount um, shielded. When you enter but it's only to the closest enemy so the very moment you enter you hit them and steal that as shields so it's pretty cool you don't really steal it from them you just gain it it's awesome um so the the plus three is the only good part about this set in my opinion uh the extort's really nice of course but um that's more for pvp kind of stuff gvg i wouldn't really recommend it on anything else so extort isn't really the greatest but um if you're trying to PvP push, it's really nice, but other than that, it's niche. So the three set piece is going to be barrier 25%, chance to end the attacker's turn when you get hit. So you pretty much, let's say you get hit by a dual strike. Um, the moment you get hit by the first part of dual strike, if it was gonna proc, it won't proc because you ended their turn. So you immediately end their turn if they hit you. So dual strike is very weak against you. And um, so our like attack closest enemy two times. It'll attack the first time and then it'll cancel out that two times um, attack. So not only does it counter um, dual strike, it also counters attacks like they have multi hit and one ability. Uh, so it's pretty good. It's a pretty good two piece set. I kind of really want it. I'm really thinking about it. So I'm going to be looking into it, but um, it's still a maybe. And the last one is going to be 10 evade chance which is okay if i had the evade wings i would have so gone for this but i don't sadly um so i'm still thinking maybe i'll get this i am not entirely sure i am still mainly going to be farming the nether uh so i can get the rest of the stuff there but i believe that was the last of them yes it was so that is going to be it for the loot recap other than raid which we're going to right now let's check it out storm defeat okay these guys i remember these guys these guys were kind of annoying it's not too bad but they were just kind of annoying so let's go ahead and check out the loot here on heroic we have a pretty cool mixed sky cosmetic mount it's like a little surfboard that like a hoverboard okay so here's the loot we have a uh, kaijin ring uh not that great it's again healer focused it's just minus 25 shields which is a terrible negative plus 16 bonus healing which is eh Let's go ahead and check out the offhand, which looks pretty cool. It's like a little claw. It like opens and closes when you use it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, gain 25% bonus damage on targets below 30 health. Um, the bonus damage is nice. Do I recommend getting it? No. If you're a DPS, I recommend getting the set if you want to do things easier. Only because you will be farming a lot of raids if you shard stack like I do. And you're bound to get the full, uh, full set if you just run... Uh, maybe like the hundred shard stack that I get to and then I pop a bit core if you can do that You should definitely get the set and enough uh, materials to Max it if not get close to maxing it out after you spend maybe your guild points as well into zeals uh, And then push with that in the same tier. So yeah, those are pretty good. You can also just try legendaries I recommend trying the legendaries first if you have a decent accessory and pet But if you don't have a decent accessory and pet, I recommend going for a set 
but that's just my opinion you could still get on with um epics i believe but if you go down to rares it might be a problem so it's all up to you um if you have epic or better i say you could try the legendary route uh, if you want to just zoom on by this but if you really still feel like your your um epic um, your epic accessories and pets aren't that great uh you still might want to consider the set even if it's just like a partial set like let's say uh four in power for each sp you have that one's okay 25 percent chance to deal 50 percent earth damage see that's nice that's like a pet proc a damaging pet proc so i think uh just the three piece for this would be strong as is um, you can also go for the full one, which is nice because it gives you a lot of dual strike and you gain 30% earth damage to enemies above 75% health. So this one's pretty nice. Honestly, it's a nice set. I I've always liked this set. It gives dual strike. So um, DPS guys, you might want this set. Never know. So let's go on to these schematics. No and no. You don't have to worry about any schematics. That's great. So let's go on through so I can show you all the guys real quick. This is going to be my team. Rev boys, accept. Okay, let's turn auto off so we can check them out. This guy looks really awesome. I actually really like this guy's work. And this guy's uh, artwork for this guy, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna click on him. His name is Callum, Callum Kane. I'm gonna call him Kane, or Callum. Callum Kane, Callum, um, deals air damage to the closest enemy. Little animation there. Deals air damage to the closest two times. So he hits the closest guy twice. Uh, deals air damage to the furthest enemy. So he's going to be poking out the back. Oh, that's a nice uh, little animation. Deals air damage to target. So this guy pretty much has the whole board covered. You might want to take him out pretty fast. Um, he has decent speed. He's just an all-around decent uh, character. Let's go back here to Cyclonius. He has a little, little red ability. That's cool. Er, okay, deals air damage and drain from the close enemy, so he has a lot of self-sustain, but if you see here, he's very weak, a lot of speed, so he's going to be damaging and just poking at you real quick and sustaining with that. Heals and shield self, okay, um, deals air damage and drain from all enemies, this guy just loves to stay alive, he's very sustaining, um, deals air damage to the closest enemy and shield self, yeah, so he's going to be very annoying. You might want to target him out first only because he has a lot of speed and damage and he can just continuously poke and heal himself. So you can just easily pop him out. So let's go ahead and auto on until we get to one of the next enemies. We should see one here. Let's check it out. No, same guys. Let's auto on through. Okay, here's a new enemy. Hopefully he does not die immediately. Nice, he's in the back. Okay, so air resistance, air damage, deals air damage to closest enemy, deals air damage to the weakest enemy, spread shield teammates for so-and-so, heals teammates. So they're pretty supporty. Um, I really wouldn't worry about these guys. They do do a lot of damage, but um, I don't know if you noticed their speed is like half of the other guys. You could focus on taking them out because they will be nuking your um baits here and your front tank so you might want to take them out i still don't know if i'd prioritize them i'd probably prioritize cyclonius just depending you can try taking one or the other out first seeing what'll make it easier but again you do have your carry so it should not be a problem i'm gonna auto on through until we get to the boss i'll see you there okay bolazor that's a cool name can you play that bastard i'm like nico mcbrien then prepare to die right now! Can't waste my time! I have a gig on Friday! <laughs> He's pretty cool, he has a little mohawk. Let's check him out. Okay, so he does 12.5 air damage, okay? And look, he has something down here. Damage resistance, uh, plus 15 damage resistance, and plus 15 air resistance for enemies with plus 50% health. <laughs> it's worded so weirdly. So pretty much you have 50% damage and air resistance, uh, for enemies above 50% health, which is pretty cool on this guy. Um, it's pretty awesome. He's uh, pretty cool looking. Deals air damage to the furthest, so he's nuking the back line. Okay, that's a really cool animation. Um, deals air damage and drain from the strongest enemy. Deals air damage to the strongest enemy and self. Deals air damage to random enemy two times. Okay. 
deals air damage to all enemies. Okay, so he's just straight damage dealing. So I'm pretty sure you want to take him out as soon as possible. This guy here hurts a lot as well. So I would say take him out first though. He seems like he'd be a huge problem. But your carry should be able to handle him more than likely. So no need to worry about it. Just go ahead and auto on through if you have decent carries. But I'm pretty sure you guys got this. He'd be priority number one in this raid for sure though. Followed by maybe the butterfly and then the purple guy. Awesome. Okay, so we didn't get any super awesome loot, but that's fine. We were able to pass it pretty easily. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the introduction to tier 13, and that is the end of tier 12. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to make this as uh, fast as possible, but I need you guys to understand that this account is a free-to-play account. And all I do is I try to finish my familiars. And once I finish my familiars, I start shard stacking like crazy. So I have to shard stack and shard stack and shard stack. So that kind of takes me away from getting more stronger familiars. It also takes me away from getting mud for my enchants. So I'm just turboing on through this so I can get to tier 18 as fast as possible or current tier for whenever you're seeing this video. And um, once I get there, then I'll be able to pretty much go for enchants and do a lot of things a little more easier. Do I recommend shard stacking? Um, yes and no. If uh, you're good on your familiars and you're already getting good on your epic materials, let's say you're a little pay to play, then yeah, sure, go for it. But um, as a free to play, I really don't know if shard stacking is all that great. Like I'm passing through here faster, yes. But once I get to late game, if I don't have everything set up to where I want to have it set up, I won't be able to hang around and be as strong as everybody else. So I'm just going to zoom on by a little bit here. Um, but once I start having problems, then I will be working more on my enchants and mud and everything. So, um, for now I'm just shard stacking. So please be patient. I also do wait for a bit gore every month. So this is probably like more of a monthly series than anything. Sometimes I get good enough loot and I don't have to worry about it. But a lot of the times I don't because it's just RNG. Again, one more time, this will probably be a monthly series. Anyways, thanks a lot so much for supporting the channel. If you guys could smash that like button, that would be great. If you guys could subscribe, that'd be even greater. You guys are awesome. All the vets out there, please help them out in the comments. Again, this is World Leader, guys. Have a safe one. Peace.